Coach, I would appreciate your thoughts on, first of all, I thought your defense, that was one of the best performances they had going back even to last year. But there was a couple times where guys launched themselves at uh, offensive players to make a big hit without the wrap-up and miss the tackle. Did that concern you or you, you just did aggression? How do you look at that, Coach? Well, the start of the season, you know, always comes down to fun, fun. Sorry, the start of the season comes down to fundamentals in terms of defensively, you know, tackling, getting off blocks, you know, defending the deep part of the field, win our leverage and coverage. And we're just looking for improvement from week to week. So, you know, it, it's the first time, you know, playing as a group, you know, and we got to do a good job of, you know, tackling, you know, that includes the rap, the approach, everything there. But the first game of the season, you know, across the league is where you see, you know, the teams that tackle the best usually are the teams that are playing the better defense to start the season. So we're going, we're in the process of trying to improve that as much as possible. Coach, uh, how how would you assess Tyree's performance? And uh, and I guess what do you want to see from him going forward? The group as a whole, I thought the the front did a solid job in terms of you know trying to minimize the run and trying to. Um, you know, contain the pass rusher. We, you know, there's some stuff we need to work on as we move forward, especially as we start the, our, as our focus is shifted to the Buffalo Bills where you know, you're dealing with a dynamic quarterback, both uh, passing the ball and also having the ability to run the ball and, and the skill players they have offensively, you know, the running backs, the the receivers. So as we start to work forward on that, you know, everybody's working hard as a group to improve, you know, the early part of the season, just trying to improve our fundamentals in terms of the run game and the pass game, not to single you know, any one player out we, as a group, uh, including myself, we, we, you know, have a ways to go to, to get where we want to get to. Coach, uh, Ja'Cory and Bennett as a rookie is to start outside. Obviously there's a couple of PIs, but he kind of stood his own. Uh, how beneficial is it for a guy like that to really just kind of not stick his toe in the water, but just dive in head first. Experience is a great teacher for all, all the young players. The chance to play in the NFL for the first time, get a chance to work the matchups, work the, the, the coverages, the tackling. The thing that you're looking for for those young players is to see the improvement there. And it comes from getting experience, you know, the, the speed of the game, the physicality of the game, that's the best uh, best teaching, the best learning that they'll get is actually to do it. So I, I would think it's a great benefit for them and for the rest of the young players. Coach, when you look made your second half adjustments, your defense, in, in my opinion, if I was to use a word to describe the second half was grit. Mm. As a coach, how proud were you just to see them digging in the grit the fight and the no quit. It starts with the personnel evaluations from the personnel department. They do a good job of bringing in smart, tough, disciplined football players. And you hope that through the habits we built through spring and training camp and practice, that all that stuff becomes a habit from the way we practice and the way we, we prepare. And as a coach, you just wanted to show up on the field on Sunday. And so as you look at the film, obviously room for growth, but the fact to be able to grit, have some grit during the fourth quarter, third and fourth quarter, I would say definitely uh, proud of that, Just but just recognizing that we have a long way to go. We'll do last question for Adam. Coach, you touched on it a little bit, but um, I guess, did you know Jacorian was as physical a tackler as he is and, and as welling a tackler? And um, to have him and Nate uh, step up the way they did and, and make tackles, what does that do for the defense? It, it all starts from the evaluation process. We we, we value uh, smart, tough, <laughs> disciplined football players. And, you know, whether it's the cornerback position, the safety position, defensive line, linebacker, to play defensive football in this league, you have to be able to tackle, especially as you, the, the skill groups that were the skill guys, skill players were facing on a, a week to week basis. These guys are pretty dynamic. Um, the offenses are trying to get them in space. You know, trying to create angles in the run game, trying to create space in both the run and the pass. And it's important for us to be able to get these guys on the ground. 
that's the main you know focus aside from limiting points or uh, taking uh, limiting points you got to be able to get the ball carriers on the ground so that that all goes into the evaluation process for all of them all right thanks coach thank you